All right, let's have a look at question 13 to 16. Now, this passage talks about two methods of reading. One is the one proposed by this person, Rikor, and the other by Derrida. So, the method proposed by Rikor actually analyzes a text to explore what is the hidden meaning behind the text, while that given by Derrida tries to explore the hidden ambiguities and contradictions in a piece of work. The author says that, you know, both of these ways are actually pitting the reader against the text, where the reader gets to prove his or her intelligence by actually finding faults with the text. Then uh, the author says that, you know, this has created a sort of a paranoia amongst intellectuals who implement these methods. And uh, this paranoid atmosphere is, it has seen, no, so not surprisingly, these methods have fostered a rather paranoid atmosphere in modern academia. So he relates it to modern academia, he even relates it to social media, that this is actually uh, not a world apart from the pylons that we witness on social media, right? So uh, then the author says that in the classroom also, you know, this method can be practiced and if this, this adverse alien humanities, it can even be found interesting, electrifying by the students. However, towards the end, the author talks about the virtue, the benefit of reading like a historian. When you read like a historian, one is that you're not uh, critic, uh, main, your main aim is not to criticize, to disavow. And second is you actually put your own value also a little aside in brackets. You are conscious of your own values as well. So this is what this entire passage is about. The genre was philosophy. The level of difficulty of language was moderate, not excessively difficult, not easy either. Let's have a look at the questions. Coming to question 16, what is the primary purpose of the passage? This one was an easy question for a main idea question, right? So um, it mentions the characteristics of two methods of reading. It doesn't just mention their characteristics, it also comments on them. The author has his own viewpoint about them. So B is incomplete. C discusses two methods of reading, both of which are complementary. Are they? Our passage does not say this, that they complete each other. Eliminated. It analyzes two methods of reading, both of which are critical of text. Yes, it does analyze and both of them are critical of the text. D, it encourages the reader to develop a critical eye. No, no such exhortation to the reader has been made that, you know, the reader should be like this. In fact, they have been criticized also. So A is the answer here. Easy question. 